start off and uh, you know uh, do is give a little overview of the design group and just talk about how we design products um, at Dell and kind of maybe walk through some of the, the consumer uh, brands that we have and the things that, uh, that we're offering. But um, more than me running through the stuff that we have, I really would uh, encourage everyone just to feel free to stop, ask questions, um, you know, about uh, what, we're, what, we're, what we're doing and what we're showing. Just the, really, the, the value I think here is if this is very interactive. So, um, so with that, I'll talk a little bit about Dell's um, design organization. Um, in, in, in particular, in the last three years or so, we've really started to invest in the design organization. So the, the, uh, the EDG team today is about 250 people worldwide. Um, and that's, um, the scope of it is, is very broad in nature. So all the hardware design, all the software design, and all the brand uh, communication work is, uh, is being centralized out of this design group. Um, the offices that we are, are building and, and, uh, and expanding as we speak, you know, obviously there's a big location here in Austin. You're sitting in one of our, our studios. This is the consumer design studio. So the, the consumer design folks are in here every day, you know, brainstorming and working on projects. So when, when we leave, there'll be a design team probably in here with sketches and stuff on the wall working. Um, there's a, a, a software design group that we have in Silicon Valley that is concentrating predominantly on our mobile phone uh, space, so there's a lot of software work is coming out of that. The, the streak uh, UI work was done in Silicon Valley uh, with that team. Um, Taipei, we've set up a design office in Taipei as well, so very close to our manufacturing base. We've got a great design and development uh, team we've been building, and in Singapore also we've, we've set a design office up. So I think there was probably, I know when I came in I was like, wow, is Dell designing everything in Austin, Texas? Well, the answer is no, we're designing everything with a very global uh, organization um, and a broad footprint. So you have typically within the design group, I mean, in Austin I probably have, you know, at least um, people from 14 or 15 different cultures, you know, so it's very uh, mixed uh, culture and the, and the work is, um, and, and from very diverse backgrounds. So you, we have people from, you know, medical, furniture, automotive, you know, architecture, um, behavioral psychologists on staff, so a wide array of, of skills. Um, the, the areas of focus within the design group are kind of, uh, you know, these five areas. So you're going to see there's a team that we, that's focused on surface or a color material finish. So trend research, what are people buying, what are, the, what are their lifestyles, what are they doing? Um, they, they translate that into you know, the colors, the graphics, the material finishes that we think will be very appealing to different target groups of people. So there's a group of people that do that that are great. We have, of course, an industrial design function, which is a team that's designing our hardware. And um, uh, we have a brand design team, which is working on the brand communication piece. It's uh, a relatively new function here. Um, the experience uh, design team is doing all of the software design, so now you're seeing and you, you will see more and more um, solution-based um, thinking and software coming from Dell. And uh, I'm really excited about that. And then I have a team that's working on you know, long-range advanced concepts. And so um, we've staffed uh, the, these, these functions with the best people in the business. So I feel really, really excited about uh, the team that we've set up. The investment in design, if you look at it, um, it's starting, I remember when I got in, you know, Michael was like, you know, um, what do you guys need to, to be successful? So we, you know, I told him you know, basically the, the scope of what we need and where we focus our energy. And the impact of that has been just being reflected in the awards that we're winning. So if you look at, you know, 2007, Dell had won eight design awards, and that was the most that we had won at any one point in time ever. Um, in 2008, we won 48 design awards, and that was more than, in, in, if you took the combined history of Dell, more than we've won at any uh, one point in time, um, and uh, collectively. And then uh, uh, in 2009, we continue that, we, we won 59 uh, Global Design Awards, and these awards were in all geographies, across all product categories. So the investment that we're making is now starting to pay off. So you're seeing cooler products, better solutions coming from the, the organization, and that's a reflection of just the investment that we made yeah, in the team. Um, 
what I what I thought I'd, I'd do kind of quickly is run quickly through the sub brands that we've set up within the consumer group and just talk a little bit about who they're for and, and, and show you a few examples of some of the goodies that we have and how we're mapping that out. So we, we, one of the things uh, we did uh, last year is we spent uh, quite a bit of time going around the globe and just doing global segmentation research. So we go into, we went into I think um, 12 different uh, geographies and, um, and just sam and sampled, um, we did research based on how people are using technology in their products. Uh, what are they doing? And uh, came up with a set of segments. And it, what was kind of interesting is we looked around the world, while it varied a little bit, we saw some consistency. There was ha roughly half the population was what we call kind of generalist people who were doing, you know, um, you know, social networking, you know, just traditional uh, things with a compute technology. And then the other half we were we looked at uh, uh, of, the, of the population, we saw were specialists. So you, you, you definitely saw people who were hardcore gamers, you were looking for people who were pushing the envelope from a technology perspective, you know, needed 3D horsepower and capabilities, um, people who were looking for the best and the latest and greatest. And so we've created a set of um, targets and organized our sub-brand thinking and product portfolios around these, these needs. Um, so the Inspron brand that you're seeing is really centered around the generalist uh, uh, side of this equation. Within that, you're seeing people who are very, you know, from people who are very price sensitive to people who are very style conscious. You know, you're seeing families, you know, Gen Gen Y targets within this segment, um, uh, and uh, that's been, uh, you know, we're, we're looking at kind of the emotional drivers that drive these segments. You know, what are they looking for? Not just the rational, you know, I need these things, but also the emotional drivers, and trying to align kind of our, our product portfolio and our, and our styling and our thinking around kind of meeting addressing those needs. Um, you know, within each brand you're going to see a set of uh, targets that we've outlined for the, for the, uh, the product teams. Um, within, the, uh, within the Inspiron brand you're seeing a lot of energy, or you will see a lot of energy around communicating and connecting to um, families with kids, so solutions that are very oriented uh, around that market, as well as Gen Y and uh, students. And, um, you know, so you, you'll see, yeah, this folks here, right? Educational, family entertainment, multi-user current control due to some of the things that were, were highlighted during the research. Um, you know, the uh, center of the PC, the center of their organization and finances. And, um, and a lot of people were seeing this as an investment within, you know, for the family and the future. Um, definitely when you look in China and stuff like that, it's a very important purchase to make a, a PC purchase to, uh, to help your family get ahead. Um, with Gen Y and students, we're seeing you know uh, business, you know social networking obviously was kind of key, keeping up with your friends. People were very mobile in nature, um, very on-the-go lifestyle. Um, this traditionally has been a very strong segment for Dell um, in, in general. Um, and uh, when I when I when I started uh, a, a few years ago and um, looked at the Inspiron products that we had. I, I was like, hey, this is the way I view the Inspiron brand that we have. And I'm like, it's, you know, I told Michael, Dell, and everyone, I said, this is, it's not very pretty. Um, you know, when we go out and spend time with the, the segments, you know, the segments were telling us that they wanted to look like this. And so that's pretty much what we've done here. So if you look at the, uh, the, the, the new products coming out in the Inspiron brand that are launching now, um, you'll see the new all uh, small form factor Inspiron Xeno uh, mini desktop. You'll see the uh, the entrance even within our, our traditional desktop. Um, very clean, simple, modern language. You'll see the introduction of the brand new uh, Inspiron uh, notebook. Brand size on an auto kind of build here. Um, there's a, a language that you'll see um, where we've freshened up the notebook language and all the mobile products are. Now they're sleek, the color material finish treatment is really well uh, designed and very beautiful in nature. Some of these products are sitting over here. I'll, I'll pass I'll pass a couple around um, so you get a sense. You know, this is more like the Mini and it's less like the, uh, the Gremlin that I saw you know, in, the, in the earlier slide. Um, so now all of a sudden the Inspiron brand has a design language and a look and a feel that is more appropriate to the segments that we're marketing to. Um, 
let's keep going here. Studio brand that we, we have. You know, we, we created a brand. Um, there was definitely a segment out there which we saw a group of people that really wanted high fidelity. High fidelity and their media consumption. So if it was watching a movie, they wanted a great movie experience with a great picture, great audio. And uh, you'll see, you know, a definitely a big push for us in this area uh, uh, this year in, uh, in, in delivering that, both in mobile products and in the stationary products within the home. Um, we saw, uh, and, and we, within, within, when we looked at this performance segment, we really have, you know, a few different sub-brands serving different segments. So our Alienware brand, there's a very clear sub-segment that was targeted at hardcore gaming. And so the products over on this end of the uh, of the wall here are targeted at the uh, hardcore gamers and enthusiasts that really want to push the envelope from a gaming perspective. Studio uh, brand, as I was mentioning earlier, is really tech, uh, directed at the folks that really want high fidelity multimedia experience. And our Damo one is really around um, ultra mobility. And so you're seeing a real push into uh, miniaturization, high level of craftsmanship. Um, you'll notice. Uh, in those products. Again, there's a range of, of, of targets that we've identified within the studio brand. Predominantly, you're going to see kind of amateur creatives, AV enthusiasts, creative professionals as kind of the key targets within that, uh, that brand. So we're spending a lot of time, you know, in, uh, in market uh, living with these, 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 these customer segments. So the design team will take um, a group of the behavioral psychologists and designers and they'll go actually into people's homes and stay with them and work with them um, for weeks at a time to go design and develop the products. Um, one of the attributes that kind of came out, out of this uh, uh, you know, uh, focus was very clear. It's like a lot of people are saying it's really important to me that you, know, that the, that you, you, you deliver the performance um, that's required to do the things that we're doing. So having a very powerful engine, so to speak, um, and integrating the, um, the, uh, the AV technologies that would deliver that work key. So we have a range of um, great partners uh, that we brought into the studio brand. Um, you'll notice that there's uh, no compromise on the, the performance under the hood in the, in the products. The design inspiration for the new products that are coming were really pulled from the gear and the, uh, the d devices that people were using. So we looked around you know, their, their rooms you know, their offices, um, in their studios, and we saw, you know, um, multimedia gear, video uh, cameras, that, those types of things, and we pulled the, the, the inspiration for the, uh, the next generation products from that. So as you see the studio brand evolve, you'll start to, to pick up on those cues. Um, you'll see, you know, uh, very innovative, clean, clean, sleek, modern language, you know, uh, being uh, developed for this brand, um, running through our desktops, all-in-ones, um, even through the, the new notebooks that are coming. Those are coming a little later this year. A Damo brand that we have, as I was mentioning earlier, it's really about ultra mobility. Kind of, the, you, you see affluent professionals, executives, entrepreneurs, rising stars are some of the segment targets that we're spending a lot of time with. Typically, when we talk to the segment, people are telling us that it's really key and important that um, the technology is highly mobile and portable. So, you know, uncompromised on connectivity, you know, is, is key. So you'll see integration of mobile broadband and those things. Um, this product I'm particular, pr particularly proud of, this is the Adamo XPS that we launched uh, in November, and it, uh, it is 9.9 uh, millimeters thin. Um, the world's thinnest PC by probably double that than any, the nearest competitor. So if you look at anything in the market, most PCs on the ultra thin side are twice that thin. Yeah. So this was something when I joined Dell, everyone told me with actually the, 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 the predecessor, the Adamo, um, was 16 millimeters thick, and that, that was the world's thinnest PC when we launched it, and we came out with one, you know, at 9.9 .9 millimeters thick, which kind of broke all the rules. When I joined Dell, everyone told me that it would be impossible for Dell to design something that has you know, the level of fit and finish that um, you're seeing in the Japanese brand, Sony and Apple and others, um, that we would not be able to deliver the um, level of um, technology and advancement that others have brought to it. And so, um, you know, lo and behold, here it is uh, coming from Dell and, and we're very, very proud of that work. Um, and it's been received very well in the marketplace, so we're very excited about uh, where, this, where this ultimately leads us. 
um, uh, the generation one Donald product. This was cut from a solid block of aluminum. So we start with a solid block of aluminum, we cut it on a milling machine and trim it out of a solid block. What that yields is a product that's very robust. When we talk to a lot of the mobile professionals, with the ultralight notebooks in general, they were very rickety and flimsy and they break. And so we, with this construction technique that we, that we deployed, um, it yielded a very rigid, uh, robust product. And, um, you know, I've, I've been actually carrying this one for, I don't know, a little over a year. And um, I, can I can barely tell. It wears really well. It's just uh, it's a great product. Um, yes. Alienware brand. This is our gaming brand. Um, you know, people do this to escape. Um, they collaborate uh, with their friends. It's, it's very social in nature. Um, you know, I look at the brand as a... Um, uh, you know, it's kind of like the, it's the fastest um, gaming experience in, you know, in the market. So if you, if you want to really push the envelope, these uh, products that I'll run, I'll run over real quick are, are, are among the fastest uh, out there. Um, the brand is really about delivering a, su a supreme experience, so very immersive. Um, you'll see a push from Dell into immersive display technologies, into, of course, the fastest graphic and computing uh, technologies. Um, this product in particular, we just launched at CES this year, we won the Best of Award, it was the Phantom. It's an 11 6 inch uh, gaming platform. If you think about the evolution of this, uh, of this industry, you know, it started with big desktops that were very, very powerful. It moved into notebooks, and the notebooks were really desktops. They were desktop replacements. These kids were carrying their desktop and their displays to other kids' house to, 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 to play. Um, the notebook space was delivering pretty much a desktop level of a performance. Very heavy. This is not meant to be thrown in the backpack and carried around. However, the emergence of this product is actually the first mobile product from uh, Alienware. It's very travel friendly. Yes, yeah, very travel friendly. So it's a little over, I think, four pounds, right? Some, somewhere in the four pound area. And what you'll notice is four pounds super high-end graphic performance, um, ultra-long battery life. I think that will run about eight hours of battery life in the notebook. So in a gaming notebook, if you got over an hour typically, that was good. Yeah, so um, uh, on the battery, so it's, it's very, very, very cool. Um, yeah. So this, this platform, as we roll it out around the world, has been winning awards all over the place. So we're very, very good with it. selling really well. Um, it's being adopted, and uh, I think the, the value proposition is that you know, everyone kind of gets it. Like, hey, I can throw this in my backpack, I can take it to school, I can play games with my friends. Great product for on the go. Is it, is it, is it, um, like, like land connectivity like, with other people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is this the kind of thing that your kids can play in the car, or they would need a connection? Uh, they can play in the car, because what you can do is load the game onto the device and play. Okay, yeah. that's what I was wondering. Okay, you, you can obviously play uh, connected, or you can play, you know, okay. independently. Very cool. Yeah, very cool. Very powerful little notebook. Um, You'll see uh, this uh, line expand. You'll see more mobility coming in the Alienware brand as it rolls out over time. Um, lighter, thinner, faster machines are coming. So very, very exciting. Um, yeah. So that was a kind of a, that's a quick overview of the consumer brand, so you get a sense of what Dell's offering. Uh, in, uh, in the types of customers that we're targeting as we design and develop our products.